Good evening, everybody. I want to make a quick comment on the video that's going around viral. I'm not even going to share the video because I think, uh, I believe it's uh, very diffused and anybody can find it. It's about the 14-year-old kid that was just recently beat up by a police officer uh, on the sidewalk um, in Rancho Cordova. I think that's California. I'm not sure actually if it's in California, but I think it is. Um, for buying a cigarette, basically, off, uh, you know, clan, uh, from a clandestine seller on the street. Um, you know, I, 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 keep, I, I keep saying this, I keep arguing this in, in a couple of the groups that I participate in on Facebook reiterating we have a serious problem with our police institution uh, the whole system the whole mentality and the judicial system towards our citizens but some you know condensing it a serious problem uh with our police in america there's a serious problem there's something really really wrong happening when one says a serious problem one means i don't know if anybody understands when you said you know, a lot of times somebody will say that person has has a serious problem, right? And and you think, well, what could have happened to that? You know, what could have happened to him or to her? What, I wonder what he's talking about. And other times you get what that person is saying, and you know that it's that that person is living with something that they're being uh, afflicted by. Uh, continuously like it's the result of a condition it's like something like a, like a pain like they're carrying a pain with them there's two ways of understanding that phrase somebody has got a serious problem it, you can understand it more as a, a constant state something that is uh, like a like a thorn in their shoe or something they, you gotta which makes you want to do something about it like care more and understand that there's that it's in, 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 in need of uh, attention. Or you can think of it lightly, like there's something not wrong, not right with that person's personality and you just kind of dismiss it. Well, obviously I meant, I mean the, the first kind. There is a serious problem happening with our police institution at, in, a, in a psychological capacity, which I believe is the result of, circum, of, of a condition in, in which they work, uh, a result of uh, the, what their training, how their training performs in their in their um, in their work. Uh, that could be a, a long dissertation. I don't want to get into it right now, um, but I think that what is most important, just to make this comment real quick, you know, when people start arguing and, and talking about this, the people, most people don't, are sort of subconsciously afraid of authority and police politicians, not to mention they won't, they won't even touch it with a 10 foot pole. They're, they're petrified of saying anything uh, about police brutality, excessive uh, prison sentencing or um, errors in, in the judicial system or wrongful accusations and how many thousands of innocent people may be in jail. You know, politicians are petrified of going in, in, in there for some reason. Um, but when people do come, overcome this fear of, of, and again, that's a whole interesting um, dissertation that I don't want to get into right now, why that occurs, guns. <laughs> um, they will say, well, you know, he didn't, or he, 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 the kid should have not resisted. Um, no, that was not a chokehold. That was something, um, you know, um, that you need to do, or it was too much force, or it wasn't too much force. And they miss altogether. They fly right over the um, understanding the situation 
in a larger context. And the context of one is what is the purpose of the police, of a police in a country? You know, what is the purpose? What are they supposed to be doing? And, um, and then the other aspect is what was, what was actually happening? What is the value of the, of the, of the, of the incident, of the transgression? I mean, what was it about? The first part, you know, uh, basically the police is an extension of the, should be an extension of the intelligence in our government, in our uh, institutional authority, uh, in dealing with social situations, social situations. Uh, it, it is not meant to look at the country as a war zone where you have to identify the enemy, entrench yourself, ambush, you know, knock down, <laughs> um, dis disarm. <laughs> no, you, the, the police is trained to perform uh, for the, given a, a, a situation where they're gonna be dealing with citizens and people and social situations. And that means a knowledge in psychology, a, no, a knowledge of a, a cultural, a, a social understanding of all the different nuances of a society. You know, what is a kid doing at 14? What phase is a, is a, a toddler in versus a 14 year old versus a 19 year old versus a 25 year old versus a 34 year old? You know, these are things that you would go into the profession knowing, thanks to training in psychology and things that ought to be part of the curriculum. Um, you know, but in America, you know, no, I'm not saying that there, uh, there are all that many countries that have this level of sophistication uh, uh, here into the definition of what a police, how a police is supposed to serve the people. But some, most countries, I would say, a great number of countries have different varying levels of um, intuitive, they apply this sense intuitively because they are usually more concentrated, more densely, um, how can I say, people that are more exposed to one another, more involved, um, kids that stay near their parents, near their homes, they don't uh, in their towns, that most countries, the average, you know, America is a country very different to most countries in the world in that we, we leave our places of birth and we forget about our parents. Uh, uh, in a, you know, maybe a lot of people will say that's crazy. We don't forget about our parents. Well, in a, in, in a symbolic sense, we administrate and we kind of, uh, we don't stay so t uh, involved in taking care of our parents. We're, we invented <laughs> practically the idea of, of putting our, uh, having retirement homes for uh, automatically as part of life practically for our parents. Uh, the idea of, 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 you know, bringing your dad or your mom with to live with you is one in a thousand. I don't know how many people can say that they uh, made sure that their parent was close by or they that they you know they brought him to live with them or they stayed in their parents house taking um becoming the the the, the parent in the household and and that way their parents were taken care of um there are some cases but not when you compare it to uh the, the world average we are the only culture that um that has the, 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 you know, who, who, who has the term uh, runaway, you know, some, a kid who runs away from their home and to go, you know, be a hippie in California or something. Uh, that's our invention. That, that is almost like something you do as a teenager. I ran away. You see it in tons of stories, novels, movies. Uh, runaway is just an element of American culture to be a runaway. Uh, so this, what this tells you, what these two um, items of uh, examples I just gave, our parents and, and being a run or, and runaways, speak of a culture that is very 
diluted, very uh, strict. And so therefore you have police officers that treat the pe people more like anonymous entities. Like it, it does, I don't care to know who that person is, what they do, or there are prejudices, there are stereotypical ideas, you know, based on what they look like, their ethnicity or what neighborhood, um, and then character associations to what they've learned seeing in movies, you know, what a drug dealer would be, would live like, but they don't have real lives. And so uh, on top of this, they layer, uh, our police is layered with a mentality that comes from, I mean, all the time I hear people, you know, police officers that served in war that came from Iraq and happened to be the ones that uh, were trigger uh, a little bit too eager to pin down and hurt and kick or, or shoot. Um, and this kind of echoes the situation where um, we think of arming the police like they have to confront an enemy. Um, and this mentality is in our people already by the by the fact uh, that, for example, our politicians decided to give excess war hardware to the police departments of, of America. And so that you would even think that would have to come from a people that are already, already thinking this way, is already uh, looking at, uh, at the citizen as having to subdue, dominate, control force them to obey at all costs and, and very little else. The, the point, the objective of the police is to have the citizen obey the law and, and to, in, doing, in doing so you have to control and dominate the citizen. You know, this is, this would not <laughs> really be uh, a, 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 um, a bar to what the police institution originally uh, was born out of, which is a profession that came from the citizenship, you know, people to police each other, basically. It's not a military, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it didn't come from the military, it didn't come from, from uh, you know, a sort of an armed institution that needed to be applied on, it was like, I'm a citizen, I will become a police officer for my people, so that to help my, my, my brother my sister citizen, you know, and um, so it always carried, that's what I mean by in most countries there's a sense, even when we're, they're not so sophisticated in instructing their police sociologically, psychologically, um, you know, there are different ways of attempting that. Some police uh, um, institutions in some countries they they treat him to uh, they train him to use uh, uh, you know rather than just resort to the gun or to uh, you know uh, martial arts or um, a psychological uh, a, a training in psychology that is not based on identifying the 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 aggressive problem and finding the right moment in which to tackle that person or preparing yourself in case there, it is a violent person or anything like that, but uh, a way of uh, knowing how to defuse the person so that it's sort of like um, the, our problem is that we don't see the police as less intervention is better. Uh, we don't see it as, you know, it's almost like they're looking for an excuse to exercise their power and their their, their uh, uh, situations that will make it possible for them to use or or, or uh, uh, ma warrant or justify their using their weapons and 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 uh, techniques. Um, you know, well, I I don't want to dwell too much in this. It's, it's a hard thing to talk about uh, the mentality and the, what the training should be about instead of. Uh, which which leads to looking to not looking at the citizens, but uh, citizens as potential anonymous enemy, but rather uh, a people that you must understand in every varying and different situation, which is the opposite of what our police is like, and which you find um, in some countries, uh, indeed, um, understanding this concept, understand having a sensibility towards the social reality, the living 
reality of people in the nation, in the, in, in the, in the fabric of society, in their lives and what they're about. We uh, don't. We, it's all method. It's all sort of like the target and you have to have these um, sort of uh, blanket kind of uh, procedures to prevent, basically, and a lot of it is just so that the police officer themselves don't, doesn't get harmed. It's, um, anyways, um, um, but let's put that aside. <laughs> and if this is kind of related, but it's the other aspect, which is that the kid went to buy um, a cigarette. Now, <laughs> the problem the police as an extension of the government is addressing or uh, confronting or attacking or however you want to say it is the occurrence of illegal cigarettes being sold on the street correct this is the, the problem <laughs> right uh, the kid didn't create that industry that is a problem that adults made right the guy leaves and the police go after the kid and tackle him down and beat him up. So this is the part that doesn't get talked about because basically it, it, it shines a light on, on the fact that perhaps the problem is so, uh, so at the root, so, and, and so essential that the whole thing, the whole thinking and the whole system has to be overhauled <laughs> completely. Uh, so people are afraid of, 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 of touching something that is perhaps sensitive or they don't, they are, they don't feel, um, uh, confident perhaps in, in, uh, looking at it more conceptually in a, in a broader sense. But, um, if you want to get rid of the problem, you have to, so uh, get rid of the adults selling the cigarettes to the kids. The kid has a problem. He's immature. He probably doesn't have parents around. He has attitude. That's a problem that has to do with the parents. Uh, the police are bullying their forcefulness in situations that require social sophistication, better parents, better education. Uh, there's a there's these industries uh, the regulations that don't have any involvement with what they're actually regulating in terms of what it's actually causing to society. Whatever. Um, you know, uh, it's almost like we're being treated like a machine and when something is squeaky, you just kind of bend it or, or grease it instead of understanding the problem with the design of it. And, you know, <laughs> um, we don't think very organically when it comes to administrating our society, I guess. Um, we think more in terms of functionality and, and uh, you know, and tackling and blocking or censoring or stopping uh you know limiting limiting always trying to trying to prohibit or um you know instead of being versed in in how things develop and understanding the essence that causes things to to grow up a certain way or to develop or to mature to learn certain things a certain way you know we we're not very uh very refined that way. We're a little brutal against our own people. Um, so, but let's look at it more practically. And, um, you know, should not the police, as an extension of the state, be directing its efforts towards that guy selling the cigarettes to kids on the street? And therefore, there would be a whole understanding of the problem. Uh, their attention would not have gone to that kid at all. You know, the kid ran away. Oh well. You know, they probably he probably could have used a a good talk, a good scolding. But that is not the objective of the problem. Should not be the objective of the problem. The police concentrated on the kid instead of on the problem. And that's what I mean by there's a serious problem with the police because of um, it's sort of like they they're not thinking, <laughs> and it's not their, the the fault of the people themselves. It seems to be the way we.
think of the institution and how we train uh, and, and the values, of the, 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 the form of the values, or the, the no, I don't want to say values or principles, it's irrelevant. We're basically not looking to heal society, we're just looking to dominate the, the citizenship people, dominate, control, you know, force them, block them in, you know, uh, punish them. <laughs> You know, it's all taking it out on the people instead of ha being sophisticated in how our people are being affected and what is happening to the people and how to understand those problems and solve those problems so that our people don't suffer these problems. If we had that mentality in our politicians and in our institutions, this would have never happened. The guy pleading to please not be shot and then getting killed in a Vegas hotel would not have happened. A pregnant woman uh, would not have gotten punched uh, while laying on the sidewalk by a police officer. Uh, and the hundreds of cases of police brutality, thousands, thousands, because there, there's just all the time there are instances where they provoke, they actually cause, there is no, no understanding. If you're going to scare somebody, <laughs> this, they have no awareness of themselves that's the whole thing they think that's what they gotta do they just gotta do they just gotta you know use both hands be prepared with the other one be have the the, the mic to call his buddy backups you know but they are not seeing what a human being is suffering by their hands they have no clue and so they have no clue what they're actually causing and for this reason they don't see that they're actually the ones causing all these horrible events, like what happened to uh, Vanessa Marquez. Look at the look at the incident of Vanessa Marquez. She was there at home, you know, all messed up. <laughs> she she could not hurt a butterfly. That poor girl. She's so messed up and nervous and tiny and frail. They come into her house because healthcare mental health care needed police officers to go that doesn't make any sense now who's responsible you can't get so angry at the police it's our mentality our mentality that lives in the making of our institutions that thinks that mental health care needs the assistance of 10 guerrilla police officers to go and end up, end up going to pick up a frail little thing that has mental problems and of course she got scared she got scared who goes into trigger situations you know and and then we 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 don't want to look at our problem because it's our problem their problem is our problem and we have to explain it and we say we call it police suicide <laughs> so we're just going to keep running away from this problem and describing it, giving it a new name, a new storyline, so that we never see that we have a problem in the way we think towards, our, in, the, in the making of our institutions, in the making of our systems, of our training, of our, it's not treating our people right. It's scaring our people, it's provoking our people, it's making our people fearful. We don't, how can people not, how can politicians, I don't know what they're, why do they want to run a country? I don't understand. Why do they want to be politicians? Why do politicians want to be politicians today? If not to try to lead and, and better, like, like Angela Merkel said, you know, I don't understand why would anybody want to, you know, be president or prime minister if they don't have a vision of how they want to change the country. No, it seems that in America they just go to do a job that comes with a certain things that will, they will get out of for their life to continue benefiting from, you know. They're, they're, we have problems. Things need to be overhauled and changed. They cause the problems. They cause it because human nature is human beings. We're not, we didn't evolve to, to confront something coming at us with leather boots and guns and microphones and, and, and you know, they, they cover themselves with glasses and helmets like they're, they're going to Afghanistan. And, and they expect people to respond reasonably to that, 
to that they respond they expect people to well you know they didn't she didn't stop when i told her to stop what is wrong with us what is wrong with the person well she didn't you know she pulled out a gun it wasn't a gun it was a bb gun you know <laughs> where was he where was that guy that said she pulls she pulled out a gun he was at a girl's house that has serious problems a little girl, it's not the type that would hurt anybody. She was an actress. She's a ho a little Hollywood starlet, you know, not somebody that you need to barricade, uh, and, you know, uh, the house and call for reinforcements and go take your positions outside and create a, uh, you know, what do you call those? Where they all the, they all line up with their with their um, <laughs> the the. The, the, the response, the reaction to the situation is completely ludicrous and absurd. Look at the situation and then you look at what they do and it's crazy. Of course the kid, the poor 14 year old could not keep his hands down. He kept, he kept beating him up because he kept lifting his hands. Okay? That kid was being held by the neck was being pushed in the chest by this big guy with a gun. He was terrified. We don't always show fear and terror when we're terrified, by the way. People react. We, we want to we wanna escape danger and there's nothing we can do about it. So every time the kid would lift his hands a little bit, the guy would toss him over and it's, it's, it's insane. It's absolute insanity. And how does anybody not want to do anything about it is incomprehensible. They have a problem. They're being afflicted by a problem. Okay, let me be more precise. They are the victims. The police are the victims of how American, um, our culture thinks, uh, or how our institutions end up, um, you know, uh, giving form to their professions and to their training and to their methods because of ways that we believe we got to treat each other. It's very profound. It's very deep. It's not something that we can just, okay, let's try it this other way. No, we have a serious problem with how we're treating our people. How can the most, uh, supposedly a country that is edu well, educated and, um, you know, um, advanced in sciences and psychology and human sciences uh, that purports to lead the world in, in social principles of, of politics, democracy and freedom and individual human rights and blah, 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 blah. Supposedly the vanguard of human civilization in so many ways, right? I mean, <laughs> be also the country that most brutally and excessively sentences to the to the barbaric solution of confinement in a cage <laughs> you know uh, the largest amount of its population in the world with probably the most um, the most excessive amounts meaning for something that really didn't warrant perhaps more than a few months ended up being given years uh so 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 brutal with our people some somebody got two years in, in one state for the same crime that another person got 30 years and and all these horrible brutal excessive things happen in our penitentiary and judicial system and we just we just go and watch a netflix movie like nothing's <laughs> it's crazy it's absolutely insane how can how can the country that wields all these nuclear weapons be so capricious and immature and, and childlike and so superficial? It, there's something really off about how we are and how we treat our own people. Somebody has got to do something about it. <laughs> Somebody has got to be in a position where we, we got to sit down and stop, you know, stop arguing, stop thinking, stop trying to decide and tell somebody what to do. And let's think quietly, long, and and profoundly, and start calmly, 
starting to speak again, starting to talk to you. Let's look for the right people to to put these things in the right con context of comprehension, of of, of wisdom, and uh, you know, let's start looking at everything because we're treating our people like. You know, people are running around crazy. They're throwing away their, their lives. Drugs, uh, pff, whatever, it's nothing. You know, uh, they have no self. We have so much, so many problems of self-worth and self-esteem. And, and you know, uh, we're, we're, they're just really focusing only on making money out of other countries' resources and governing and ruling and dominating politically the world and, and the rich people making money with all our resources and, and, and harvesting the, the weakness of, of, of smaller, more vulnerable countries, more needy countries. And we're so involved with the outside that we forgot inside, uh, you know, we are practically a, a paper plate for uh, 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 the quality of of our um, of our care for for our own people should be fine fine china should be crystal should be uh, should be you know silk and instead uh, we treat our own people like it's discardable paper party wear <laughs> you know that's that's not right. I mean, I I certainly wouldn't want a, my country to be that. I don't know. Do you? Are you okay with that? Tell somebody.